So in this video I will show you how to make a noise suppression setting and we will also practically test all the option how it works. So in order to select the noise suppression option you need to select your profile picture and then you need to go to this setting. Once you open the setting you need to go to fourth option which is devices option. When you click the devices you will find here option called noise suppression. So inside the noise suppression you have four options. One is auto, second one is high, then low and off. When you put it in auto, then system automatically detects the background noise and it suppresses as per the automatic uh, algorithm. When you set it as a high, then the noise suppression will be very high and the actual noise will be very low. When you set it as a low, then the noise suppression will be low but the comparatively you will find uh, high noise and you, when you set it as a off the noise suppression will be removed and you will find actual noise surrounding your environment so first of all we will start with the auto and we will see how it goes let me make a test call and i will make a noise and we will see so i am doing a lot of noise here and we will see whether you can able to hear my voice or this noise let's see can you hear me? Give me your feedback in your comment. If we keep the noise suppression setting as a high and if I make a noise, what it does? So I am doing again same level of noise and you tell me whether you will be able to hear my voice or you are able to hear the noise. Give me your feedback in comment section. I am doing a lot of noise. Can you hear it or not? You are the best. I am doing again same level of noise. And you tell me whether you will be able to hear my voice or you are able to hear the noise. Give me your feedback in comment so section. I am doing a lot of noise. Can you hear it? And then uh, we will test the low uh, noise compression and we will see what happens when the noise suppression is set to low and we'll see to test your call quality record a short message after the beep then your message will be played back to you i'm doing a lot of noise again are you able to hear me or are you able to hear the noise let me know in the comment section a lot of noise a lot of noise are you able to hear me let me know I'm doing a lot of noise again. Are you able to hear me or are you able to hear the noise? Let me know in the comment section. The first one is auto, in which if you select the auto mode, the noise suppression will be automatically detected by Microsoft AI engine and it will suppress the noise. The next is the low. The low option is for the low noise around your surrounding when you are attending the meeting. So when there is a music playing on or when there is a dog barking or when there is a kid shouting, all this uh, low noise getting suppressed when you use this low noise option. Then the highest noise suppression is available when you choose high noise cancellation option. It will provide you seamless team experience. Then when you use the highest noise cancellation option, it will use the maximum resource of your laptop or computer and if you have a low performance laptop or when you have 
exhausted with the resource of your laptop or computer, then this option is not recommended at all. In that scenario, either you should choose low noise cancellation option or you can also choose auto detect option. The second feature is switching between the device. Suppose you are somewhere out, you don't have access to your laptop and if you have to attend the meeting, then in the mobile Microsoft Teams app, you can connect your corporate account or your personal account and you can start the meeting. As soon as you have access to your laptop, you will your meeting either get seamlessly transferred into your laptop or if you want to connect both the device uh, on the Teams meeting, you can have that option of uh, using mobile as well as laptop. So this is also very useful and I've used this feature quite often and I found it very useful. Hope you will also find it useful. The third feature from Microsoft Teams is using your personal ID. Yes, now you can use Microsoft Teams using your personal email ID and uh, like Zoom you have like 40 minute uh, time duration. After 40 minutes the meeting will get ended with uh, a free option of the Zoom meeting. But here in Microsoft Teams you don't have any time limit until and unless you yourself have set any time limit for the meeting. And this option is very useful because you can also invite your friends or family who are not into the corporate account but you can add their email ID when we are setting up the meeting and then you can organize the meeting. They will get meeting notification reminder before meeting gets started. So uh, it, it works seamlessly as corporate Microsoft Teams. So friends, that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed this video and if you like this information, if you like this information, please share it to your friends so they will also love to know about this information. And if you have come first time to my YouTube channel, do subscribe because regularly I post such kind of technical videos. Thank you for watching. We'll see you soon. Till then, you guys take care. Bye.